If I were to start a YouTube channel right now, five things I wish I would have known. You need to have your brand, your intros. So where do you get your intro with my skills on the level that I'm working with brands and pitching to brands to share my media portfolio and rate card and spreadsheet of my rate card. So I'm gonna go straight to Fever. I like to download their app because it's much faster. I'm gonna look for five star people. I want to someone to do my influencer media kit, uh, rate card, and yeah, things like that. So I want to hire this person here. She charges seventy dollars. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kia Munta Bear, and this is the things. I wish I knew before I started a YouTube channel. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is your first time seeing me, seeing this beautiful face. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I have been a YouTuber. I've been on this YouTube space for over, I think, 26. No, I started, like, I created a channel a bit 2016. I had a Gmail account, but I started really, really serious 2018. So, six years in the game. I know what I'm saying. I'm currently sitting at 42,000 subscribers and I'm heading to 50,000 subscribers. So be sure to subscribe and be part of the K Tribe. K Tribe is the community that supports me online here. They're very positive and yeah, I always like to see your comments down below. So subscribe, like, comment, and turn the notification bell on so that, so that you don't miss anytime I post a video so guys I have been asked a lot of this question I've collaborated with a lot of influencers and I have like shared knowledge of how to grow I know the journey how it takes I'll share a bit of what I know uh, online and of course I hi, have helped I've helped a lot of channel to reach to where they have reached uh, I've helped someone reach from they only had 98 subscribers and they skyrocketed to a thousand and being monetized within just one week of me like teaching them one on one and uh, they are currently sitting at 11,000 subscribers all with the tips and helps that I'm gonna share with you in this video so many people DM me email me and I thought this is wise for me to share on a video like this so they the it can be public knowledge and you can always like share and watch also like replay it instead of me like having one on one time because that has led me to very serious serious trouble if you know you know anyway today's video is in collaboration with fever so fever the world's largest marketplace for digital services where individuals or companies can go to find freelancers with a skill that suits their needs and it is considered a micro task site where you can do relatively quick small one-off tasks which they call gigs. Our today's sponsors go head to head with today's video that you're gonna be speaking about. People always ask me, okay, so where do you get your intros, your branding, your even you can get I edit all my videos, but you can also get like video editors to edit your videos also which is really really helpful it will save you a lot of time also if that's what you want and you can learn uh, you can have logos your brand this is very important you can also which is very important to me right now like with my skills on the level that i'm working with brands and pitching to brands they're talking with brands they'll always ask me to to share my media portfolio and rate card and spreadsheet of my rate card so it's this is like really 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 helpful so this is the two things i've I, i've hired like people to do my intro from um, fever but in today's video i'm gonna be hiring so that you can see and this is something that i need right now so i'm gonna be uh Go to into my account i'm gonna show you exactly how you go to your account i'm gonna lay a screen over here or here basically so i'm gonna go straight to fever i like to download their app because it's much faster like that when you download the app you go like i want to hire someone with what do you say 
I want to hire someone with, um, I see so many people here. I'm going to look for five-star people. I want to someone to do my influencer media kit, uh, rate card, and yeah, things like that. So I want to hire this person here. She charges $70 for two page. Okay, what do I need? Media kit, personal PDF with clickable links, editable Canva. Okay, this is what I want. So I'm going to hire them to do my media kit. And then I'm going to show you how it's done. So this inf uh, this one, freelancer uh, design and influencer media kit, speaker sheet, rate card. I see average and experience. Also, like like to read the bio. So, yeah. So I think I want this. Hmm. So she has different offers. Hmm. I think I want for which one did she say? Okay, why she media kit was like PDF with clearings and Pokemon. She has different things available. So I check the portfolio. This is exactly what I need. This is exactly what I need. So I'm gonna hire this one, Media Kit for Influencers. So I'm gonna hire that. Let me see what why is she she has different offers. She has one no five dollars, ninety dollars, seventy dollars. So I'm wondering why is she having different what's being offered on the different things, revisions print ready source file so i think i'm gonna take for 70 dollars and then let me see she say influencer media kit speaker sheet and rate card so i'm gonna take this wait i don't want to include my rates rates on them so i'm gonna do that Additional revision, update your media kit as you need. Okay, so I'm going to take that. This is how actually you do. So I'm going to take that. So it gives me print ready to revision source file. Total 17. Okay, so I'm going to pay that. Of course, I'm working with Fever, so they gave me credits so, for me to hire this. But previously, I've used Fever on my own to do my intro, like the intro you've just seen at the beginning, like this intro I used them. So, social media links. Please fill this requirement. Tap, tap to, tap to, button to, social media links. Okay. Social media links. Okay, contact info. Okay. Okay, what's up if it says your offer? Okay, so let me do this first and then I'll submit requirements and then we'll come back. I've just finished submitting it, like putting the things I like, profile pictures, and then they'll help me for there. Congrats on your first order and taking your first step towards it. So I'm always being asked for a media kit. So this is something that you may need. You, not me. You need it so that the brands can see your professional guys. You can't imagine how much dollars I've missed out because they thought I was malamala. So I also want to order 2D custom logo animation. I want an animation logo for my things. So I'm going to see this... Um, <clears throat> gig I work 100% so the results you want so how how many stars does he have I want an animation also Fever has been so kind to me and has given me an exclusive promo code to give it to my K tribe my audience you can use my exclusive promo code Kemunto at the checkout stage of the order to get 10% off of your first purchase link will be on the description box below of this video so seven days to 
it takes seven days my portfolio it has five star rating so i think i will order how much so this is what he offers so i think he offers i want my my logo to be animated for sure i want something like this so let me order that also yeah so so that's the things i've ordered from fever i like fever because there's like there's so many freelancer here and i like it so much so we have two cancelled gigs one completed one and one active one but not to worry fever refunded me my money so i ordered some another gig that i really needed i needed social media like pop-ups so yeah and also the project took the project that is completed took three days and it was um the freelancer was on time and the communication was effective and we negotiated again uh, we negotiated another gig and this is the communication because yeah it's really nice the way the fever is improved like you get to communicate directly with the with the free free freelancer who's gonna be giving you the gig yeah who's gonna do the work for you so yeah and if you want more you can order more and you get an order and that was my order that was complete and i'm so happy with my red card and influencer f uh, spread f spreadsheet sheet yeah so i'm happy about that i'm very very happy i'm so professional right now this is why brands will work with you we get a professional person who does your influencer media kit is so 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 important and you can start working with brands as little as a thousand subscribers you don't need to reach like nano influencers micro influencers are making it right now so start being professional and hire someone from fever and the gigs there are different rates for gigs you can get so yeah this is the one i preferred and i like really liked her work and i can edit as i grow i edit my price list so it's an a never endless it's an endless like media kit that keeps on giving because by this month i'm gonna reach 100k so i'm gonna like uh put different rates so that's what i mean i'm so thankful so i had another gig for social media like pop-ups and that's what i'm doing right now um you can check the delivery see if you still need time to uh to approve it you can go and there's a new feature called i need more time to review it and you can click it so that can give you more time to review if you like the deliverables that they were given i like them and i'm gonna be using them on the next uh video on the next scene you'll see me using the pop-ups from this seller called yeah from this fever seller these are the pop-ups yeah if i were to start a youtube channel like right now i will make sure i know my channel name this is very critical you can use your 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 official name like your first official name or your second official name like for me kemonto kemonto is my tribal name it's my second name and which is tribal <laughs> i love it so much and bear is just a it's a, it's a cunning name instead of I used to instead of calling yourself babe call it bear yeah so you can use something that is relatable to you or uh, use your first and second name which I don't know like I feel like it's more safer if I use my second name like not all my official name for safety because the internet is a very scary 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 place and also just start start don't say i'm gonna start tomorrow i'm gonna start the day after and actually now with youtube it's much easier with youtube shorts always follow trends and follow new features that the app is recommending like right now youtube is so focused on shorts like youtube shorts because youtube shorts wants to compete with tiktok and uh, instagram reels so start with shorts or upload like 
three times a day shots and you will grow like this you will at like i'm not even kidding like start with shots start with trending songs include music that is trending because now with youtube shots you can actually use uh music so always go to the youtube shots app and okay let me see if i can show you so let's go to the youtube shorts app you see these three these three dots go there then go to youtube shorts create a short then find a sound here find a sound that is trending like maybe jason derula has made uh, a song out there just try and search it oh yeah it actually gives you go to the top sounds and use these top sounds one of it i don't want to get copyrighted use that one one trending sound top sounds that it has given you and put a clip of of you cooking whatever interest that you are interested in just put it there and use the sounds and just hashtag shorts or shorts africa if you're in africa just do it and it will go viral and also do the hashtag of the music that you've used and it will go viral yeah we need this watch hours and monetizations because right now on youtube we need to have four thousand hours watch time within a period of 365 days and you also need to have a thousand subscribers so it's better you start uh, start that and do like three videos upload uh three videos a week and consistency is key be consistent don't look at the views oh i've only got one views oh i've only got five views just do it do it do it and do it now think about what kind of content you want to create and maybe if it's fashion or diys or cooking you can create your channel name according to the content that you're interested in but for me like i used kemunto my second name because i didn't want people to find me because in real life um mostly people use my first name or my nickname jojo so it was really uh, about hiding but right now everyone knows me like i don't know like i don't know guys do you know me do you know me? I really didn't want my people from work to know to know my username or my family members. I didn't like especially my family members. I didn't want them watching my videos. Even up to now I feel awkward when my family members watch my videos because I feel like I don't know. I hate that review like oh I saw this video, I saw you did this. Especially when I'm doing my bra reviews videos or I'm doing something sexy. I don't want them to know. I don't want them to see that side of me because I'm actually freaky. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I knew, guys. I wish I knew about like having really good thumbnail because in YouTube thumbnails, titles, thumbnails, titles really, really, really matter. Uh, thumbnails titles and description box and you can invest in search engine optimization you can also like get people to do your thumbnails or do it in adobe photoshop or you can get hire someone who's good at thumbnails of course you can also again hire from fever people to create your thumbnail and like because those uh, thumbnails is very very important that's the first thing a viewer a potential viewer watches from you and actually that's what is being like on recommended pages the first thing you see is the thumbnail so it's really important to invest in really good thumbnail i used to take only screenshot but right now i edit with at uh, with photoshop or even the best thing is canva like pick monkey there are a lot of other things that you can use online uh to edit your thumbnails yourself Another thing I've done recently is I've noticed like I've went been using my Instagram like stories the the effects so I usually use the effects and take a picture and then just drop it on my Photoshop or Canva and then it uh, it will already have added saturation and made my picture like so clear so yeah like the thumbnail I'm gonna use on this it's gonna be used I've gonna be used on Instagram like effects and then yeah you get the gist so that what that's what thing i realized and also invest in search engine optimization there is like uh vid iq or two <coughs> vid iq or two body 
and i'm gonna do a detailed video on another video but you can actually use that to see like which keywords are trending or also you can just use youtube search and maybe for example if i want to to do what do i want to do like a hair review i'll just search it on the top bar search of youtube how to do like hair review and then i'll see the ones that are popping up like are being suggested and then use that always research also follow the big youtubers on your niche and when i say niche on things that you're interested in creating content that you're interested in creating follow them like follow them and see what they are doing and also use it get inspired not copy but get inspired copy their title but use your content and uh, twist your content to be you and that's how you'll get like viral like some of viral like for example when i was doing africa village lifestyle vlogs i've been doing the african village for a long time like i'll go to my home time or my village my countryside and do videos cooking and doing all the traditional stuff that's being done in the village but my turtle wouldn't like my turtle will be just basic but when i followed some people who are doing the same content that i was doing e.g the nini who who was doing uh africa nyako actually pride who else miss dosha those are the people who are doing also there's this summer summer who yeah they are doing those so i saw they use the title africa village vlog african cooking evil or whatever and i used i took the title and i used it and that's how i got my most viral video by seeing what other creators are doing in my niche and implying it on my own videos and that's how i got my first viral video to 3.5 million views so these things i'm giving you they actually work so use that another thing i'll tell you without people will say use whatever you have okay when you start use whatever you have like for the first month use whatever you have like whatever camera you have you're lucky if you have an iphone or the best samsung in the market you're lucky like the samsung s23 or whatever it's lucky you have it you can use it you can use the like the free app called imovie to edit your videos but after three months you've seen that uh, you really like content creation you really like creating content invest in good equipment i'm telling you this is very important lighting is very important like use natural light right now i'm using ring light but i've used the natural light for a long like face where the light is you see like this maybe it's the window this is your camera now this is the window always face the light don't face against the light always face the source of your light lighting and audio is very very important and this is why when you're using your phone audio is gonna be good because phones are most important things on phones is the microphone because we use phones for calling for audio purposes mostly but now microphone and the phone quality nowadays is really really good i'm using my iphone maybe you can tell me if you see any different quality but this is what you so invest in very very good like now people are doing 4k quality content you have no like you have no room for errors like do it do it like invest this if this is what you what you want to do just invest so this is the canon your sm50 you can see that i like this camera because it has flip camera it. i remember my first camera i used all my savings from my job and i imagine i got fired i didn't know my next meal is gonna come from okay i used to live with my sister so yeah that was sorted okay so i used all my money to buy the best camera that time was canon 70d i used that money to buy that camera and i noticed people like i uh, people like gravitated towards my video because the quality was better the audio was better and i'll link i link i link a video now i link my amazon store uh <coughs> I'll link my Amazon store also in the description box to see all the equipment I use from the microphone, from the Canon. I'm currently using the Canon right now as we are speaking. Okay, let me show you. Like this is my, my setup right now. And I'm investing. I keep on investing. I bought like, yeah, don't, don't worry about the background. Also, your background should be really, really nice. 
this is my okay ring light this is the ring light this is the camera you can see that and yeah this is me and the tripod like all this will be on my amazon store link so that you can go directly there i also have like put your phone whatever you are you are filming with put it on a tripod so that the quality can be stable there's nothing awful like an unstable uh clip so use a tripod i like this tripod so much because it's versatile i can go with it i can put it in my bag and go with it again just go and check my i'll do another video of all the equipments i do use for filming uh yeah on another video so this video is actually just a talking video but if you require like to see my filming equipment whatever i should be on another video give this video a thousand likes so that's another thing uh i will like i'm giving you top deals so invest in a good uh, equipment like right now i'm using like this setup this setup i'm using a canon eos m50 with a lens a wide angle lens because i like vlogging a lot so discover what you like mostly because i can tell you how many like lenses i've bought and i've ended up loving this because i research a lot and i'm gonna be be investing every year i try and invest if i get like a good chunk of money through youtube or my sponsorship video i try and invest in my equipment in my filming equipment so yeah back to what i'm using i'm using a canon eos m50 with a lens this is why i like this canon m m50 because it has interchangeable lenses so I use 11 to 22 millimeter zoom lens. It's a wide angle lens, and I like it so much. It gives the uh, it gives the uh, you whatever is happening in the room. And also for my product reviews, I use like uh, but this is my main 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 gear. And then I use a tripod, and then I have a oh man pronto tripod, and what else? Like these are the main and a ring light newer ring light which is very very important i told you lights is very important and then my microphone is a road one i'm trying to invest on a wireless microphone comment down below if you are a youtuber and you know or if you know and you can recommend me any good microphone wireless microphone that are out there i want to invest in one what else do i want on you to know Create a YouTube strategy and uploading schedule. This is very, very important. Like for me, I try and do upload every, everyone. Tuesday, Thursdays, and Sunday, upload three times. I try and make sure I upload three times. I do live stream, like I schedule. I make sure I upload so that people can know when to expect my content. They'll know that it's always there. I upload three times a week. Being consistency is key on YouTube. YouTube will reward you when they see you posting all the time. And now there is no excuse. You can post YouTube shorts. What I do... To be honest, I remix my long, long video form content into shorts. That way, I keep up with the shorts, I keep up with the trends, and yeah, I balance it out. Learn about the YouTube algorithm. This is very important so that your videos can be watched and so that you can do content that people are actually interested in and are searching for. The first time in YouTube before you, you acknowledge yourself, like you, before you brand yourself is to always give out that's the most important part always if if it's entertainment if it's informational helpful like uh, be helpful be informational be entertainment like whatever it is make sure you give people what they want so create videos that the audience is interested in and they will watch it stop overthinking just create whatever you are interested in watching i know if you are watching want to start a youtube channel you've been a viewer you watch youtube videos so see what you like watching and try and create the things that you like watching so i know you may think like oh i don't know how to edit video i don't know what to do how to hold the camera how to do this Go, there's a lot of content on YouTube like for example if you don't know how to, how to edit a video whatever app you're using for editing a video like for example if you're using iMovie go on YouTube search how to edit with iMovie and I'm so that's how I learned 
to edit videos by just watching YouTube videos and that's how I use Adobe also how to edit with Adobe Adobe is actually really 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 hard it took me nights not let me not lie that's why I don't want to to get uh, to part ways with it because it took me two good months and I keep on learning stuff every day to use Adobe just search how to edit with Adobe how to edit with PowerShot how to edit with what um, Final Cut Pro how to edit with with Flimora whatever app you're using and I'm sorry on YouTube there's always tutorials on that so go and check those out do you want to be a full-time youtuber or a part-time youtuber I am a full-time YouTuber. I went and I saw a whole benefit when I became a full-time YouTuber. You can be a full-time YouTuber. You can do a 9 to 5 job. You can still do YouTube. Like, that's the beauty of YouTube. You can do it anytime you want. Just make sure you have even one video a week. Just be consistent on the time. Don't do one video a month, please. That's not, you're not being serious. Like, you need to show up for YouTube for YouTube to show up for you. So be consistent be like be create all your passion give time like you give priority to the things that matter right so if youtube matters to you give it time and be consistent be patient that's the most important thing be really good at it like invest in the best best equipment i'm telling you people are doing 4k quality videos so you have no room to do 720p no please People want good quality and people are watching on 4K TV so you have to produce really nice content like even 1080 by 60 that's really good enough like do it like invest in like make sure your thumbnails are good make sure your title that you are putting don't put gibberish title put titles that people are actually searching for I don't know how much I can insist on this and also always be talking on camera like talk like this look at the lens directly don't look like this like hi 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 like you see like when you look directly to the camera the audience feel connected with you so talk directly to the camera i'm really shy but in front of a camera i have no space to be shy like i have to communicate with you guys okay let's tell people to like comment and subscribe and share the video like always do that in every single video even i suggest like three times space the when you're starting the video in the middle of the video and when you're ending the video always do a call to action for people to subscribe and tell them it's free like comment share all those things it's really important guys it's actually like people like you don't know like people always do what you demand them to do and please 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 don't worry about your niche just be concentrated on how to create better quality videos and better quality videos start with good equipment camera equipment good lighting we are lucky natural light if you have natural source of natural light or a ring light get your ring light and what else a good microphone if you're using a phone this is why i usually tell people for the first month use your phone like the phone you currently have and then maybe the second month invest in a good camera a good camera good eos camera whatever so that you, you with the next seven videos you you make sure you know how to edit like the simple thing as cut trim crop zoom whatever all those you can learn them like just google them or search them on youtube you'll find them popping up just get smart understand youtube understand the game understand the youtube game in order to grow you have to do videos that are gonna like people are interested these three things are getting people to click people watching leaving viewers sorry viewers satisfied so number one getting people to click this is where the title thumbnail concept and ideas come into play make the titles and the thumbnail intriguing for people to actually click it to watch it the youtube algorithm cares so much about how much of your video someone has watched because the youtube because the youtube algorithm algorithm tries to match the right video 
to the right audience that will watch the right video to the right viewer at the right time if a viewer is watching a lot of your video it means that they are getting a lot of value from your video that are similar to that viewer that watched that amount of video of your video another signal that youtube will recommend your video is uh, to see how people are satisfied with it how they know people are satisfied with it is the like or dislike or comments or share button we've gotten to know all these basics so now is the strategy strategy is where like now your niche you've done like maybe up from now like maybe 10 to 15 videos now it's time to to focus on what niche you want to mainly create content from you know kemonto has no need i'm in lifestyle i'm in hair reviews i'm in beauty i'm in skincare i'm in travel i'm in creating african traditional village foods cooking that's it authentic cooking you can say but for me i feel like see niche as targets and value what what is your target audience what value do you need to give to your target audience? You have to figure out what are your own interests, your own strengths, your own unfair advantages for like for me, I know interviews like people, like bringing people in your in your channel and doing like interview one on one is not my my cup like it's not one of my strengths so i focus on things that are more of my strength and like me makeup beauty i share a lot of hacks and i share about like i love cooking also so i share like something different that is not like readily available your target market people who could all uh, uh, potentially help with your content yourself this why will someone watch your video and also always like after you finish editing your video watch it first if you get bored or if you sleep why will someone else watch your video like be your own fan and then you'll see like you will grow you know mm -hmm. how do you stand out on youtube that's very very important for me i feel <coughs> standing out on youtube because every like everything uh, all niches are overcrowded lifestyle cooking car vlogs travel vlogs whatever kind of uh, what niche you think about beauty skincare it's already here yeah, it's already overcrowded so for me to stand out is to authentically present myself as me because you are an individual no one else can ever copy your personality please do not copy and paste someone else your favorite youtuber's personality because it will backfire on you real 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 bad so it's good to show up and stand up like your true authentic self let your personality shine when you're doing this kind of videos and you will stand out and people will connect with you uh, on a personal level try understand the market on youtube like youtube is a business guys if you didn't know now now you know youtube is a business so try understand youtube as a uh, as a business apply all the things that i've told you in the beginning of this video and also bring out your edge like you like me came to i'm not like this bring it out of depth of research every content you want to produce like to post research on it uh be a good storyteller if you're really good at storytelling st like build that up always make sure it's in it's incorporated on your videos and also the editing like be like try like for me i try like in a week i have to learn a new editing style a new like how aesthetically pleasing and also i try and be relatable and authenticity for me like for my channel came to bear people my ktab always my subscribers always tell me i'm real i'm authentic authentic i'm confident so try and build these things up just figure out what is the market and what is your age stop trying to be like other youtubers please don't copy other youtubers don't copy like because this this a-list youtuber is going viral for this kind of content you copy and paste in your channel it will backfire so hard on you and it will create like unwanted uh, traffic and of course you wouldn't be able to keep up with with it so try not to do that
I need to invest in a battery because it's like dark outside. I needed to uh, charge this battery and come back. So investing in equipment is really key. I'm learning also. Please don't like take like these lessons as stamped on a cement. Just be flexible and also put time into content creation. Like no, this is a, a gig that you want to to maintain like schedule the time like you are most active to do whatever do, you are doing if you have a nine to five of course schedule the time you have free days and create like for me i if you are off days it's saturday or if you're off days tuesday tuesday create that time to at least do like three different kind of videos that will be posting the next week like for right now i'm doing content videos for three different video topics and then i'll schedule them to post to go on maybe tuesday thursday and sunday that's my scheduling time just like you schedule your time to wash your clothes do laundry do cleaning go uh, or family time schedule also youtube in those times so don't make don't make an excuse that you don't have the ability to quit your nine to five job or your uh, or your job that gives you a stable income because for the first year, no, uh, I'm telling you as it is, it's not reliable to rely on YouTube. Actually, just have side hustles, keep on on the side hustles. So if you have like uh, another job, which if you're not a full time YouTube, but don't let it. Uh, not make you consistent just create time for for it the same way you create time to go to the salon the same way you create time for your friends to cook to like do your whatever routines also create youtube as a routine for you and it's gonna pay you a good time oh so yeah that's all for today guys and just make youtube fun it's passionate just don't go into youtube thinking yes youtube is a business but don't go into it thinking that you're gonna make millions just right off the start that's um uh not like feasible but it can be feasible but just go in level-headed and also thank you so much for fever i cannot stress it enough Fever has everything, has freelancers, editors, anything you think about graphics on YouTube. You can go to Fever and hire a freelancer like I did for my YouTube intro, my media kit, my portfolio and other things. I'm hiring someone to do my graphic design because I am not. There is no YouTube video that can teach me graphics actually. So I go and hire someone on Fever and to do my animate animated introductions for youtube video and with branding with branding you get to establish out who you are and what content you are creating or need to expect from from your content so working with brands it requires you to have a it's not a must but trust me it's gonna add the dollars up it requires you to have a media portfolio red card it's really stress-free and professional to hire qualified people to create your media kit and add a graphic designer to create my media kit and red card spreadsheet. And yeah, that's where Fever came, came through for me. I'm gonna leave the links down below. Everything you need to know about Fever will be on the description down below. Just scroll upon this video and you'll find it thank you so much for listening to my video i used to have a youtube hustle youtube hustle course called where i tutor people on youtube but actually of recent times i don't know if i should renew it hmm. should i okay no. <laughs> okay this is not a video about that guys if you have a sony camera i'm selling this uh, lens it's almost it's brand new i bought it but it's not fitting my canon camera so it's this from this brand and how much this is the 1.7 here it says and this is 22 like if you know about cameras you know what this is about see 0 0.3 to yeah you see yeah so i'm selling it 
uh, it fits a uh, canon lens so i was given as a gift but it's not fitting my canon i have a canon camera so it's not fitting it this is negotiable it was a gift so i think it was like 20k 200 dollars so that that's like 20,000 kenya shillings good price good price and i'll give you email me here and i will give you it's a good it's a good lens the problem is it doesn't it's a i think it's a fit no i don't know 22 20 oh, yeah this is the specs Email me if you want it. Because you keep on investing in new equipment like this. You told me these two, two newer lights. Like this this one is battery operated. So I'll show you just right now. And then this is uh, rechargeable batteries. In case there is no electricity. Okay, let's see. Okay, two, two, three. three source of lighting. I'll show you. This is like it comes with four batteries, so I'm always sorry about my nails. So I've always and then you can charge them. Uh, it comes with a USB. You can charge them. It's a very special gift. Like when you're when you're special, someone knows you like you like doing videos. They will invest in you also. So you see, there's warm light, but we always want warm light in the daylight. Oh, it's I need to charge it so this is all the light that comes in it i look i look <laughs> rusty but this is like with no lighting right and i'm not facing the window so this is with light you put the light in front of you you see the difference like i don't know if i can say not this you see you see the difference yes you always have to face the light if sorry about my home it's disgusting okay anyway yeah so that's it one so so these are like the older versions they need batteries anyway you keep on investing in your craft and be a baby i could invest here on your craft and yeah this is a like a simple mobile one and all this it comes this is for the mobile or the laptop you know like you have sorry about me oh yeah so it's uh, lighting really improves everything this one is also on my store link i'll link everything on my store link I'll link everything on my amazon store link it will be on the description box so that you can buy all this equipment that i use that currently use i'll show you Kemuto here i needed to show you everything i usually come it's i usually put my ssd drive on my card this is better than a trial whatever but this is a this is it's a samsung ssd card and it also has covers and yeah this is why i edit all my work i put it on my hard drive not hard drive the ssd drive so that i can do all my work without failure like here yeah, storage is one gigabytes this is very important guys i will do a very detailed video again 
but this is very important it's a cover that i just used to protect my ssd drive samsung drive and then because like there's so much to, that goes on editing and i love editing so i use this uh, because it has ports portal and ethernet because you know mark the way it is anyway we'll talk about those editing i wanted to be really really precise invest in your craft um like i took a course online it's a free course online and i'm learning like how to color grade color loot this is the things that i'm learning i keep on learning on my craft um like right now i'm so equipped with adobe but i wanted to also learn final cut pro because final cut pro is the best with my computer but i keep on learning and invest and it will give back to you Let me to touch more on these topics sorry like you see the other quality is bad always like okay sorry it's just that i'm editing right now but let's face it this way always invest in your craft and yeah always invest in your craft like um it's a business youtube is a big business i need to be serious because people are not playing with this digital money so if you if your work looks professional people are, brands are gonna pay you so invest this so many free courses online and they took a free course online i took a paid course online but i'm telling you there's so many free courses online that you will learn so much on the free courses like thick media youtube channel i have learned a lot from the thick media youtube channel from Catherine manning from kelechi the the nigerian youtube i've learned so much from them so look online and if you want a video from me like me explaining really really well leave a comment down below and i will focus on the comments that have most likes so that i'll do another video in another um, yeah i'm not here in another video okay okay let's go back to today's video anyway leave that comment down below subscribe if you haven't and i decided because not many people can afford to to enroll in my course it's better if you watch this video and share to everyone who wants to start a youtube channel it may be your aunt your niece your your kid your daughter your son your sister your brother or you yourself just share this video and it will reach so many people write down comments comment down below what else i should be doing i'll put a screenshot of everything that i use and yeah and maybe any any topic that you want me to discuss let me know in the comment section down below until next time bye thank you for fever for sponsoring collaborating with me in this video bye